I mean, obviously, more current there. very powerful whales. And to give us a display of exactly how powerful they are, watch Kayla and Emac here as they come shooting out of the water. That is amazing if you think that 40% of their body is actually water. That's an amazing accomplishment. Here comes Emac. Check that out. Check out Kayla. How about a big round of applause for Kayla and Emac here for doing such a great job. The little whales are mammals just like you and I. So they actually breathe air. Now, what parts of our bodies do we use for breathing? What do we use? Our mouths and our nose is that cute. Looks like she's having a blast out here today. Now exactly, we breathe through our mouths and noses. Now beluga whales don't have a nose, they have to breathe through something called a blowhole, which is a hole on the back of their head. And if you check out Cabin and watch out as Aurora comes out of the water in a second here and feel it as well with Sarah and check out Max spinning around up front here, you'll actually be able to see a little blowhole on the back of their head. And that's how beluga whales breathe. Now of course, a blowhole doesn't work under the water. Beluga whales don't have gills like sharks. They have to use their blowhole at the surface. And in the Arctic, that creates some interesting challenges. But sometimes there is a lot of ice in the Arctic. So, and that ice isn't always constant. Sometimes it's melting and freezing and shifting around with the winds and the currents. So sometimes the blue whales actually have to... That's all he does all day is... Swim in circles. Swim in circles. Poor guy. It's massive though. I know. Yeah. 